back. Rodrance for the Black and White Network. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. As always, we appreciate you guys watching. And of course, make sure you check out blackandwhitenetwork.com for exclusive content. Okay, we're going to talk about Disney. As we know, Disney has made some god-awful business decisions. Really and truly, and I've said this before, starting, oh, about four or five years ago, Disney started changing the way it was putting together entertainment, particularly when it came to some of their companies that they own, like Marvel, which has, of course, the MCU, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that gave us actually a good run for about 10 years until Endgame was over. And then, of course, Lucasfilm, which has run Star Wars directly into the ground, into the floor. And a lot of it started, you could see these woke ideologies, the virtue signaling was starting with all these companies. Brie Larson, Captain Marvel is lesbian. I mean, let's just keep it real. That's what's supposed to be going on. Star Wars The Last Jedi wrecked the franchise. It still hasn't recovered, regardless of how good The Mandalorian is. I mean, that's the only thing that has come out of, of Disney Star Wars that has been good. Everything else has been total and complete shit. Well, as we know, they embrace, embrace this woke ideology, and of course, then they decided to jump, I mean, uh, vocally, uh, full steam into politics when they decided to challenge the don't say gay bill, which is actually not a don't, get, don't say gay bill, but that's what the media has labeled it as, when they decided to jump in against Ron DeSantis in Florida for the parental rights bill. Well, it's alienated a lot of employees, and here we go. Disney employees are starting to speak out now against the company that they're working for. This is the blaze. Disney employees speak out. Woke mob has, quote, hijacked the company. Conservatives and Christians are no longer welcome. Walt Disney's wholehearted embrace of progressive orientation and gender identity movement has rankled not only customers, investors, and Republican politicians in Florida, but now some of the entertainment company's employees are publicly voicing their displeasure. Speaking with Fox News reporter Raymond Aroro, this week a handful of Disney employees called out the family entertainment company over its woke activism. Quote, you can clearly see the magic is gone, one employee said. Quote, I am deeply saddened by what Disney has chose to take their stand on politically and just with their money in general, she continued, noting that she has experienced such a drastic change between the time she started working for the company and now. Another employee said Disney, quote, has made it very clear that conservative Christian voices have no place visiting their parks or working at their parks. Wow. Wow. I feel like that is the very foundation, the very target demographic Walt Disney had in mind when he started that great company, or what was a great company. She recalled that over the last year, the company has been, quote, heavy in its internal communications regarding, quote, things to say and things to not say to visitors in order to avoid hurting people's feelings. Wow. Things that cast members were asked not to say allegedly include such words as he, she, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Basically, we have to be in fear of what we say now. Okay, so we literally cannot say you can't label a man or a woman, which is the biological fact, but okay. Yet another employee said he felt, quote, estranged by the company and its political stances, which in short term included its public opposition to the Florida Parental Rights B Education Bill. The bill recently signed into law bars discussion of orientation and gender identity in kindergarten through third grade classrooms and sets reasonable parameters for discussions and grades thereafter. I'm sorry, I don't think that bill went far enough. You know, I agree with uh, Julia Duffy on Fox News. It should have been K-12. through The employee said he and many others 
I think Tulsi Gabbard might have actually said that too. The employee said he and many others desired, decided to simply show up at the office, dig into work, but all the noise surrounding Disney's political agenda made it, quote, increasingly harder to do so. At this point, I believe the company has been hijacked by the liberal left. Really and truly been hijacked by the radical progressive left. Let's let's call it what it is. Exclaimed another employee, Jose Castillo, who is running for Congress in Florida as a Republican. Castillo has been outspoken in his criticism for sh- several weeks. Claims that there is a, quote, silent majority of Disney employees who oppose the company's activism. They've got to walk out. I mean, if this is the case, they got to send a strong message. When Disney looks around and three out of four of their employees is not in there and they're standing outside, they have got to walk out. Quote, we need new leadership, he told Fox News. Our CEO, Bob Chapik, he's supposed to be leading the company, not following the woke mob. He has a fiduciary duty to the stockholders of this company. That means he has to protect their investment, protect their money. But instead, what does he do? He protects the feelings of a few minority workers. Last month, a group of Disney employees published an open letter directed at the company's management, calling on the company to adopt a politically neutral approach. In the letter, the employees also lamented the top-down silencing of conservative voices. Quote, over the last few weeks, we have watched as our leadership has expressed their condemnation for laws and policies we support. We have watched our colleagues convinced that no one in the company would possibly disagree with them and grow increasingly aggressive in their demands. They insist that Disney had take a strong stance on not only this issue, but other legislation and openly advocate for the punishment of employees who disagree with them. Employees wrote later adding, Disney has fostered an environment of fear that any employee that does not toe the line will be exposed and dismissed. Wow. <clears throat> and I had done a video on that when that letter came out. And so, look, Bob Chapik has been a nightmare. Look, Bob Iger wasn't wasn't much better, to be honest with you. But Bob, Bob Iger, at least, in the back of his mind, would try to keep shareholders and stock prices. I mean, Bob Chapik just went off the deep end. He's went off the deep end. He has seemed to made this a, a personal issue for him as well. I don't know why. I don't know what he could be thinking. If I was a Disney shareholder right now, I would be furious. Okay, and if I was in, if I was an employee and I was being treated this way, I would figure out an angle to, to sue Disney. I would. You wouldn't go this route. I mean, you wouldn't bully me out of my position I've been in with a company. And they have got to stand up as a majority. And yeah, it's a majority of the employees that feel like the employees in this article, okay? That's one reason why the Democrats are about to get run out in the midterms because they they greatly underestimated the majority of the people that were sitting in the center as moderate Democrats that are like, hell, I've got no place here. I've got no place here. And because the radical left's ideology is so far on one side, they're going to vote de- they're going to vote Republican now. Okay, and that's going to carry over everywhere. Schools, Disney, I mean, your workplace, all of that. And what's going to happen pretty soon, I think, is the progressive left is going to look up and there's going to be about 20% of them left to vote. Um, I hope. I hope that's where we're going. I hope Elon Musk purchasing Twitter will help with that as well. I don't know. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network fans. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Peace. I'm out. Till next time.